interesting crime thriller as Cassie and her partner tried to decipher the evidence the two murderers are planting clues to create a false trail and uh, one of them is interviewed by Cassie and she's she doesn't like him and she wants to investigate him but it's a hunch uh, as far as she's aware and her partner doesn't feel that they've got enough to look into him but he's actually uh, made himself available he's put himself in line as a potential suspect deliberately so because it's a case of them trying to outsmart the, t the police they're trying to send them down all these false holes and the four involved are interesting characters there's a couple of subplots Cassie no one wants to work with her she goes through uh, partners like a knife through butter and she usually sort of gets them interested in her sexually and she sees them as a conquest and once she's achieved that uh, she then pushes them away and she is regarded as extremely difficult to work with and we see this uh, happen uh, with her new partner Ben Chapin alongside that is of course uh, the uh, there's a she gets a summons to appear a, a, a parole ball here and, and it's an old case of hers which she convicted this man and uh, uh, she's to say the least rather reluctant to attend and uh, goes out of her way to avoid the telephone calls about this suggesting that there's something about this case that uh, we need to know about okay um, yeah this uh, movie is better than I thought really I'm particularly impressed with Gosling uh, as this psychopathic uh, personality with uh, smart thinking uh, he along with Michael Pitt in their attempt to outsmart the homicide detectives um, is an interesting sort of challenge um, to the concept of uh, how to get away with murder and uh, it's almost like two two football teams playing to win um, the problem is for uh, Cassie is that her partner is very much to the book uh, type of detective and he needs sort of coaxing along with regard to uh, supporting her task um, very good scene I felt was when um, Gosling's character Michael uh, runs into well it's hardly a run into he plans to meet uh, Cassie as she's in her car outside um, I think outside his house and they get into a sort of a, 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 a chat which starts off with a mutual attraction uh, but right, uh, Michael, played by Gosling, assumes that his charm is going to uh, capture her desire for sex, and he's aware, astutely aware, uh, uh, through his own sort of intelligence, that she is the type of person that gets attracted to people 
and then as soon as she sort of notches a conquest she then pulls away from them um, almost very much the antithesis of uh, men who uh, chase after women so that they can uh, have their sexual way with them and then as soon as that's been met they then uh, decide to drop them and move on to something new uh, Cassie is the epitome of a of a male chasing women uh, for trophies in terms of sexual conquest now Michael is also of that ilk uh, with his methods with young girls but he he's fascinated by the challenge that Cassie uh, might uh, present to him uh, she of course uh, then gets into a situation where he tries to force himself on her uh, she um, reacts uh, with strength and uh, she hits him um, with the car door and uh, this then leads to Michael's father making a complaint uh, to the police about the actions of the police officer uh, and this is uh, viewed as an harassment which uh, Cassie's boss then tries to get her off the case but she persists uh, in her own time with her own money to get a forensic report which uh, shows that uh, the victim uh, was vomited over by um, Justin uh, and uh, this Cassie is uh, convinced ties both boys into the killing <laughs>